lovelies, it's Brianna. Today's video is going to be another review video coming to you guys bare-faced because we're going to be reviewing a makeup product. I recently got in the mail the Unique Mineral Touch Pressed Powder Foundation. And this foundation, um, they, so they have their whole range of foundations and I know that like the big thing is with their liquid one, um, it's supposed to, basically the coverage is just supposed to be amazing, right? Like you see these videos of these women putting on this liquid foundation and immediately their skin just evens out. Um, they have no red marks. It's like a full coverage concealer foundation all in one. You don't even need concealer. Well, the mineral, the powder foundation, which I have, is supposed to be a medium coverage foundation. So it's not supposed to have just, like as good a result as their liquid one. However, I have seen several videos of women with worse skin than I have wear this foundation on its own and still have amazing, amazing results. So I decided I wanted to try this because I've always wanted to try a powder foundation and I heard so many good things about this. So we're gonna try this one out. So this is what it looks like when you get it. It comes in this little compact like this. I got it in the color Scarlet, by the way, which is the lightest shade that they carry. Um, so you open it up and you have your mirror and um, comes with this nice little applicator sponge right here. And then you flip this up and there is your product. So everything, you know, you're not, your sponge isn't sitting on top of your product the whole time, which is awesome. Everything's separate. So we're going to try this out today, see what kind of coverage we can get. I don't know if you guys can see, um, this camera really does justice, I'm just going to say, because my skin is really, uh, my skin tone is really not even. I have a few spots, which honestly aren't even showing up that much on the camera. But I'm hoping that I can use this instead of having to use, um, and, and not have to add concealer. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, because now when I put on my makeup, I feel like I'm putting a lot of product on my face to get the appearance of an even skin tone and that honestly is not good for your skin. So we're going to see how well this works. The only thing I have put on, which I need to rub it in more, is I have already applied my primer because I do plan on wearing this makeup for a while today. So I did want to apply a primer and I just applied the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is the same primer I always use. So it's kind of like, I guess, control because I always use it. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to get into it. I might speed this part up. I don't know yet. We'll see. I haven't decided how I'm going to edit this video, but I'm going to show you guys the entire process of applying this. So I am going to apply it with the sponge it came with. I do have other brushes, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to use the applicator that they provided with us. Now, the one thing I will say... Um, like I said, I did get this in the lightest shade they have, which is probably not the best shade for me. The best shade probably would have been the next one up because it was for fair skin with pinky undertones and this is for fair skin with neutral undertones. I very much have pinky undertones, but they were out of the the shade that I needed and I really wanted this product anyway, so I just went ahead and went with that. So that might have a little effect, but we're going to see. We're going to see how this works. So, I probably won't be talking, which means I probably will speed this up. But anyway, we're just going to go straight into applying. I'm going to stop talking now. So, I'm just going to pick this up. I said I was going to stop talking, and here I am talking again. Can you see this horrible line, you guys? <laughs> That's honestly kind of funny because that just means that this foundation is slightly lighter than my natural skin tone, which is pretty hard to come by for me because I am so pale, but this is like a total line. Plus, I'm, my face is a little red right now because it's hot in here. The struggles of living in Arizona.
Okay, so we're gonna do a semi first impression real quickly. So, um, this is really light compared to my natural skin tone. Uh, I feel like I look, it's really bad because like, Like, looking in my mirror, it doesn't look that harsh, but definitely in the camera it looks harsh. However, um, I knew that was going to be the case because I knew it was light for my skin tone. But it's honestly probably not going to be that bad because I still have to apply my bronzer and my blush. And it'll probably just kind of, like, bring my face back to life. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say anything bad about the foundation because of this because being so pale like I am like I literally always have to buy the lightest color in every foundation because I'm just that pale and normally when I do that the color is too orange or too yellow or too tan like it's always way too dark so the fact that this is on the lighter side is actually it's honestly not that bad of a thing because it's I feel like it's easier to brighten my face and like bring color back into my face than it is to take the color away so the next thing I'll say is um, if you have dry skin, this is not a good foundation um, for you. But I think that's pretty much the case with all powder foundations. If you have dry skin, you should probably stick to creams or liquids. Um, I did not realize how dry my skin was until I put this on. But I don't know if it'll even show up on camera. But there's a bunch of dry skin patches here um, from putting this on. And like I said, that's probably, it's because it's a powder, you know, and it's not a cream. So it's not adding moisture back into your face. If anything, it would be taking it away. Um, let's see. So it did somewhat even out my skin tone. I still have definitely medium coverage. Like claims to be medium coverage totally is medium coverage. The other foundation I have is also medium coverage. And to even get it to have this amount of coverage, I have to put two layers of it on. And this was just one application of this. So the claim that it's medium coverage is correct. So there you go. There's that. I'm going to go in with, give me one second. So I'm going to go in with um, a brush. I'm going to use this face brush. It's just round face brush like this. And to um, kind of go over and apply one more layer of this. I don't really like the little applicator sponge, so I'm going to try applying this with a brush and see if I like it better. Ooh. So it's interesting because the color definitely has like yellow undertones in it, but totally not when you put it on your face. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go back over, Ooh, sorry, I'm going to go back over this with um, my brush and see, try to see if I can make the coverage better by going over it with a brush because you know that's what I do with my other foundation and I put more layers on if I want better coverage so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling we're just gonna go Okay, so, whoo, this lighting is terrible. Um, so right off the bat, definitely per much prefer the uh, application process and coverage process with the brush over the applicator sponge. So if you're gonna use this, I do recommend that. Still, same thing. If you have dry skin, like my cheek has dry skin on it, my nose has dry skin on it, don't use powder foundation, <laughs> just this. Um, honestly, I wouldn't have, and I feel kind of bad, like, filming this video now in this condition because I did not realize my skin was as dry as it was because I feel like it's not doing the product justice. Um, wow, it covered up my earring. <laughs> so, layering, applying a second layer, it definitely does 
add a little bit more coverage. It covers up a little bit better, but once again, still staying pretty much medium coverage. Um, it blended out so much easier using this brush than it did using the sponge. I felt like I could, you know, because I felt like even on my patches that had dry skin, I felt like I could brush some of the product, ooh, brush some of the product away. Okay, you guys, so I just got done doing my makeup, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my final thoughts on this product. Uh, I want to say, like, as a disclaimer before I go into anything else, I promise that I will never hype up a product. I will never give a product a good review or recommend it if I don't honestly believe it's a good product. I'm not going to tell you guys that a product is awesome and it works and it does this and this and this unless it truly does because especially a product like the one that I'm reviewing today, it's expensive. It's a lot of money to commit to spending on makeup in my opinion because I am like I don't like spending money all that often so I'm not gonna lie and, and like recommend this product if I don't think it's truly worth the price. And so I just want that to kind of be a disclaimer um, so that you guys don't really have to worry about that if you choose to go off my recommendation. Um, I totally would recommend this product if you are looking for a good quality medium coverage foundation. I'm going to recommend it only as medium coverage. I know there are so, so, so many videos out there that advertise this product as being full coverage, but it's not advertised as full coverage on the company's website. The company advertises it as medium coverage, which is what I honestly believe it is. I'm not saying that the people who recorded those videos lied or did some like magic voodoo to make it full coverage. Honestly, I think that if I had have gotten the right shade, if I had have gone a shade up instead of the shade that I bought, it probably would have been full coverage. But I didn't go a shade up, and so this is my honest review based off the product that I got. And the one that I got is only medium coverage. But it's amazing. Um, the one thing that I don't like about my drugstore foundation is that when I apply, well, okay, there's two things. Um, I have to apply multiple layers of it to get anywhere near medium coverage. Um, and that's a negative in two different ways. One, because that's a lot of product to be putting on your face. And not only that, it is such a different color than my natural skin tone. It does have those yellowy, orangey undertones to it. And it looks, it like... It doesn't blend well into my normal skin and it looks really bad and the more I have to put on, the worse it looks. And um, my other complaint with my normal foundation is when I apply my concealer or highlighter, like to highlight my eyes and stuff, I use my concealer um, and blend it out. It doesn't, the products don't necessarily blend in together as much as they sit on top of each other. And I feel like it's very obvious that they're sitting on top of each other and it's not necessarily the best look. Um, not for going out. Uh, like in person, I feel like it looks really, really bad. Maybe in pictures it looks okay. But the thing with this foundation, however, when I put on, I use my same concealer that I normally use, nothing special. And the colors blended beautifully like the two products blended together it doesn't look it did not look like they were sitting on top of each other so it didn't give off a cakey look and um in fact the under eye concealer that i put on actually went over a little bit of my dry skin patch from that i had that was very obvious from this powder and it almost kind of blended it out and you couldn't really tell it was there so that's something that I really do like about this product. I like the fact that other products are going to blend with it and you don't have to worry about it looking too cakey. Um, I also like how, I'm not sure how it translate, how well it translate um, on camera, but in person, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing that much makeup. And it doesn't, it kind of almost doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, which is awesome because, you know, it looks more natural and who doesn't, who doesn't want that in their look? So, I totally would recommend this product. It is more expensive, so keep that in mind. Um, 
but honestly I think it's worth it just because since I have to use so much more of my drugstore foundation I have to purchase my drug drugstore foundation more often and I honestly believe that I could keep this foundation and use it for obviously the whole year um, depending on how much I would wear my makeup probably even longer so final thoughts would be awesome product absolutely love it totally worth it they do have another foundation that well they have more foundations but the next one that I plan on purchasing after I save up some money is their liquid foundation which is supposed to be full coverage so I will probably definitely do a video on that because you know I want to buy the products on my own because I've heard so many great things about it but also if I'm going to get it, I might as well go ahead and review it so that, you know, you guys can know. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I filmed this like 12 times and I, it's so bad. So I need to stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> um, I will leave a link down below in the description box where you can purchase this makeup um, if you want to buy it. I would recommend to you, if you know of someone in your community that sells this product, totally would recommend you go to them and ask them if they can color match you because I think that that'll put you ahead of the game. I didn't have anyone in my community that I knew of that sold it, so I couldn't get color matched in person, so I had to, you know, just go off what I thought would have been the best online. Um, and I think that if you get color matched that you'll probably get better coverage with the makeup. So I do recommend doing that. But I will leave a link down below where you can buy it if you just want to go ahead and pick it up, purchase it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I try to post a video every Monday. Um, is that it? Oh, leave a comment if you have any questions down below. I always like to read your comments. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, let me know. I will try to do all suggestions. It depends on what it is, obviously. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day, and I will see you next week. Bye.